Um, I had a really interesting experience this past year where I, I kind of, it was almost like um, it was an experience where I, I, when it happened, I was like, oh, how much are we really in control anyway? Because I, I got home and I, I reached up, I was reaching to shut my garage and I got this fear sensation and I pulled away. And then I saw a big spider on the garage button. I was not cognit cognitively aware of the spider when I had the fear response and pulled away. And I saw the spider after I had the reaction. And I was like, that's really strange. Yeah. So <laughs> it kind of made you. I mean, I'm going to get an itchy over here. It makes you. <laughs> so it, it kind of it makes you feel like in life, the, 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 the ability to be conscious and consciously aware mm -hmm. and, and be able to make choices and decisions and, and analyze and, and self-reflect and all this type of stuff. It makes you wonder how much control you really have mm -hmm. as opposed to how much you're just a passenger on the ride. <laughs> 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 you yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Uh, speaking of pa like the, the passenger on the ride, right? Like every, we're talking about like ideas and things like that and, and, and we were talking about like jealousy and all, all these feelings like body image. Pe people have body image issues, right? Yeah. And we all do. We all do. We all, yeah. we, all, we all struggle with it. And the way I like to think of it is like, this is, this is my spacesuit. <laughs> this is what I was issued. Yeah. So it's, it's probably the coolest thing I'll ever have any sort of control over. Right. That's Actual true. control. Yeah. And then you know, that can be taken away like that. Uh, so on the days that I start to think weird, because like, like when I was in high school, I'm 6'4", I weighed, before COVID, I weighed 240, I weigh like 215 now, uh, which was pretty cool to have, yeah. you know, that. Yeah, you look good, man. And I was like, thanks, man. I appreciate yeah. it. But it was like, it was cool to, to have that and, and it be not like I was just eating like a rabbit for a long time. It was just, just work. Right. Uh, but it doesn't mean that that doesn't quit spinning up here, right? Yes. But Probably so, works better now. Yeah, yeah. hopefully. <laughs> we'll find out. Um, but whenever I start to have, like, thoughts about that, because I was when I was in high school, I was 6'4", and I weighed 165. Wow. So yeah. 240, 165. That's 75 pounds. Big difference, yeah. Huge difference. And same frame. Nothing changed except the weight. Yeah. And, and I started thinking about, regardless of where I'm at, I mean – health and, and trying to do well and trying to live well and trying to feel good regardless of wherever, whether I'm at and, and anybody thinks of me it's still the coolest thing I own that's true yeah and it's just what was issued to me I didn't have a say in the process you know yep. I got the skinny legs like my friends used to you know they'd be like hey man you got a string hanging from your shorts oh never mind that's just your legs <laughs> <laughs> you know as friends will do yep. they'll, they'll, yeah, give yeah. You the, they'll give you the most shit um those, but, are good, those are the good ones, most likely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah right. those yeah. are the ones you definitely want to remember. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, but it, it's like, as I've gotten older, you, you, you do battle with those things. Like, I, I, I struggle with that. I struggle with the fact that I was skinny. And I think probably why I was, like, such a hothead when I was in my 20s was I started to fill out, feel myself a little bit, you know? As oh, like, yeah. I knew what – I knew going from being the least intimidating – you know, 100 pound weakling on the, the playground to being able to handle myself. It's a, it's a huge like pendulum swing and not knowing what to do with like, it's like with great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> you know, yeah, like, that's true. It wasn't even great power. It yeah. was just an extra 50 pounds. And I was like, I, I knew I could throw it around and be intimidating a little bit, but like yeah. I, I, it turned me into, you know, some, some darker sides of that. Right. Yeah. And got in fights. and I think you go through those egotistical oh. eight years in your late 20s, like mid to late 20s. Yeah, and then you, you break enough bones on yourself, <laughs> dislocate a shoulder, uh, see somebody else get hurt. Get hit by a car. You, you, or you throw that punch, <laughs> and as soon as you throw the punch, I mean, oh yeah, you get hit by a car. Yeah. Wreck, I wrecked my motorcycle. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. You realize that. That shit hurts, man. Yeah. And I want to yeah. do things that don't hurt. And I don't like hurting, so I'm not going to hurt other people. Take care of your brain container. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 